Um, Salt of the Earth, last played 17th of June, survived 9 days, so I'm assuming we're on um, day 10. Okay, we'll see what time of day we come in. So I'm, I'm sort of pre-naming this, this video, you know, day 10. And hopefully I'll play through the day and into the night of the each day, which will take 90 minutes. I'll just read you that. Crafting the cure for blood plague requires plague samples, which means hunting plague zombies or assaulting a plague heart. When you want to grow your community, make friends with your neighbours, members of allied enclaves can often be recruited. Or when you're helping people, like, you know, getting uh, their favourite baseball bat from a previous hideout they were in, um, they will often say, I've got nowhere to live. Unless you're specialised in close combat, you don't want to be caught with a broken weapon. Once you have a workshop, you can repair your weapons at the supply locker. Yes, yeah, so long as you have enough um, parts, raw materials, which is um, designated by the screw icon. If you haven't got enough screws, then you're screwed. And this is an adult content show, because it's an adult game, certificate 18. So... Don't complain if you don't like swearing, because the players in the, the actual characters in the Crap. game will swear. I don't, uh, maybe. This is my leader. Um, this guy's name is Tyler. I'll show you the whole community. Currently, we've only got five members. Tyler's the new leader, and he's got um, acrobatics as his uh, forte. I was going to make him into. Uh, uh, a backpacker like you know but changed his thing he has got weapons handling which he's going to get better at and he's already into construction when i got this character he's not my longest lived character because um currently in the game my longest lived character is this girl the delfina padilla let me just give you this guy's name tyler saki or sakai hey sheriff someone in our community was killed and the murderer might be one of us we need your help on this Right, so that what you heard is a guy it. on the radio. I'm headed your way. And this guy's um, leadership That's style is sheriff. Now I've played a sheriff before, when I very first started. Um, if you remember from the tutorial, when you play the tutorial, you you start off with a choice of two people. Well, I chose the brother and sister. I can't remember whether her name was Michelle or Michaela Young and her brother Dave Young. Now Dave Young stayed with the group until just recently um, back in my last um, on my last map when Dave died and then I had to have somebody else take over. I went 130, 140 something four days, 154 days something like that before I ended that game and completed the one benefit to the apocalypse? No more FCC. Otherwise, how could I call Red Town a pack of rabid shit weasels on the air like this? Completed the leadership One, goals. Two, three. Yeah, that's a horde. Now, the, the idea of the game is survive. So, where's my guys? Look, I've got guys up there on the roof. Useless. How about I knock a second die out here? She's got a pack of stuff on her back. Anyway, um, yeah. So, if they climb up on wagons with you, that'd be great. Um. His weapons handling's coming up, which is what he wanted. But um, yeah, let me just go back to the community and show, tell you about the history. So we should be on day ten, um, and this guy's leadership style is um, sheriff. So that's what the guy on the radio was just asking about. We've got another problem. I've played as leader before, and I was saying that before we were so rudely interrupted by the zombies that. Um, I started off playing as 
Michaela or Michelle Young and her brother Dave. Michaela eventually cleared off because she got unhappy in the group and she was constantly doing that. And I ended up taking her with her lots and lots of taking her with me lots and lots of times, even when I didn't want to use that character, just to stop her from leaving um, because she was upset with everybody about everything. And eventually I just got sick of it and let her go. Um, but of the three characters I started with, um, I started with the four characters you get you get the doctor from the tutorial and you get the first person you meet is that um oh I can't remember her name now. Um but the, she's the she's a female soldier standing on top and she shouts to you to come and climb up the ladder. So I had her and she was my first leader and she was a sheriff. And I chose her as the leader because she had the army training and everything else. So all in all though, um, I could not complete her missions. I got sick of all the constant... You're not in control of the game. You're constantly being harassed by the game to go and sort out these bickering people. And it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter whether you um, side with one or the other, logically or illogically, they the other the other party doesn't like it and they threaten you with death and violence so i've got two people arguing over who can take the apples from a bogs and they literally stayed in these bogs the you know the men's and ladies loo at a truck stop they stayed there and i was deliberately not going to see them i thought i'll just leave it i ain't even bothered and i left it and 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 i kept getting how you coming how you coming so eventually i decided right i'm going to go and when i got there it was, um, I was here first and I found the apples. Um, but somebody else wants the apples. So I said, well, they, they were here first and they found the apples. Do you want to share them? You don't get any of them choices. You just get, you know, leave them to whoever it is. Anyhow, so I sided with the best decision I could make. And the other one threatened me and wanted to kill me. So I ended up having to go after them anyway. You know. So what do you do? You know, I understand that the game's got to have something. Do not make me kick your ass. Some of the things are really annoying. So the sheriff is is one of the those leadership traits that I've got now with this guy. But I say he's not the longest lived. Um, he's a sh sheriff. First priority is to protect the innocent and deliver swift justice to those who would um, harm them. Which is I, I agree with that. But um. Let me just go back into the community. She was the next longest lived. She's been with me for a long time as Delphina. And I believe um, so is this guy, Nesta. But these are new characters. A man has been with me a while. Um, and she had music munitions when I first got her. This girl, I gave her a book to read and became a medic. And then now she's moved on to pathology. Um, this guy, he's got sewing. He came with me just because I needed him to get to the next base. Which is, um, where I am now, as far as I remember. Or, uh, no, sorry, I haven't got to the next base yet. Um, because, um, I'm busy just collecting some more food. Uh, sorry, meds. I need meds. Find resources so people... We need meds. Somebody out there must know where we can scavenge for more supplies. And we also need ammo. Network here. I'll get someone on there. No problem. Now, if you didn't know you it, call around. See if anyone knows where we might dig up some supplies. <coughs> we will handle the situation for you. When you have um, meds, I'll just best check the boot. We've got 19 in our storage. Now I've been keeping store of Are some of the parts. And people to trade with? Hell yeah, sign me up with the network. In there because they keep losing the bits and also I've got too much. I haven't got any fuel with me and uh, that might be a problem. So I'm going to go and pull a couple of fuel out. We've got 15 fuel. You this know, is the easiest way in through the window. Ridiculous, Anna. Uh, sorry, wrong way. 
has he got meds on him? Um, one of the one of the ways to set up your guy is to make sure you've got a position for whilst you're in the play guards section of the game. I, f I didn't finish telling you. Um, I didn't finish telling you how to play the, the, the basically the, the the format of the game. If you don't know, if you haven't got this game and you're interested in getting it, State of Decay 2. First off, you survive. You've got to survive and build up your resources. And basically, you're looking for, um, you know, things to get in the game. And this gives you extra points, uh, gives you bonuses, 10% influence gain for 46 minutes over the next 46 minutes. Um, this will help me pull out some fuel. Better not have to run carrying all this. I'm going to go down to, if you're watching up in the top left hand corner, you'll see 11 on my fuel. It's the last one on the top line. And it will go down to 10. No so now, this. I've got enough, but I'm going to have to go over to my locker to put it in. Um, because I don't want to carry three fuel with me. Um... I only want to carry two fuel. Also, while I'm at the locker, um, I just wanted to check that my weapon's working okay, and it isn't. This is, it's got this yellow band around it. So that means it's damaged, and if you look in the top, um, I'll just remove it down to a lower position. You'll see that it's a carving knife, and it's got 24 damage, and it'll only give me four if I salvage it. But it's a nice light weapon to carry, and this guy is encumbered. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back into the um, into the store, and hopefully, if I scroll down to the bottom, it'll come in at the bottom. It doesn't always do this. I don't know what hierarchy rules they use, but it's gone in at the bottom. So that's one of the best ways to find out how where it is. Then I'm going to press Y to repair it. Then I'm going to press. Um, X to put it back in my equipment, so it's back there now. Of my um, 50 caliber bullets, I've only got three spec five in the gun. Um, I don't need three. I forgot. I only need two of those with me. I think. Did I have any fuel in the in the other ve in the vehicle? I think it was refueled, so I only need two to put in the back. Take with me. I've got eight ammo for my main gun which takes 20 um, clips I've got 77 there so really I do need to make sure that I've got enough um, I've only got 25 rounds left so we're going to be going outside again and um, making sure that we've got enough ammo this is the um, this mod is the we got a zombie on the way bullet press that makes 50 cal rounds. Now I've got five um, ammo left so I don't want to be using that five ammo basically I wouldn't keep attacking him if he was dead so you know when he's dead if you can't see him I couldn't quite see him there straight away so we'll put these two um, things in the back. We've got another weapon there. I didn't realise I had that. Um, but I've got only one pills of me. So it takes quite a little bit of time. I usually do this when I come back after a fight. But I think the last time I was playing I was uh, quite tired. I don't want to take... Um, oh no. No way am I catching this blood plate That knife bullshit. with me. Also, my gun, which is a bit of a specialist gun for me, um, it's a SOCOM 2, is quite, um, is, has got a little bit of damage on it, 55. Now, I've got 206 screws, as you can see in the top left-hand corner, so I'm just going to repair that. And, um, oops, I put it back in my backpack. So I'm going to repair it and press Y. Repair and then re-equip it again. So now it's mended. There is another weapon there that's, um, you know, damaged. What I tend to do is not repair them because I don't want to waste my 
screws on stuff that I'm not going to be, you know, using. If if it push comes to shove, I can always turn that into salvage and turn that into screws by um, hitting X to salvage it. But um, I don't want to do that just yet. Now, I also haven't checked just to make sure that I've got my pills. I haven't got enough pills. So this is bottles of painkillers. It's gone up to six. I've got one coffee with me since I haven't got. Um, I've got a lot of en a lot of energy, a lot of um, equipment on me. I'm going to take an extra coffee with me. Um, I'm also going to take um, some of these um, packs of food with me. Just a minute. Usually need at least one space to carry your plague samples. So, but um, I'm going to put in there. I'm going to put my um, snacks packs. They recharge your blue bar on the lower left hand corner, of course, and the meds re recharge your red. You know that they, the coffee um, negates sleep. So if you're very tired, that will sort of like bring you back to life again. And all of a sudden, you'll find if you've been drinking lots of coffee, your energy will just disappear on you. Um, so of those um, things that we've got there, we need one more item, which is firecrackers. And I've been making these. I always buy them off people if I can find them. And we need those six firecrackers. If we could have also got um, fire, we could do with fire because fire is good for against plague hats and we are killing for plague hats. However, this guy doesn't nearly need it because he's got enough bullets in there to kill it at least two plague hearts, um, three shots apiece, so you know six shots between the two. We're going out for more ammo now anyway, so he's already kitted out. Now what we're going to do is change to the gal that we're taking hmm? out with us. I'm right behind you. Oh, we can't because that will end his mission that he wants to do. Apparently, talk to Nestor about his concerns. Talk to Bran. Gleaners about the fugitive Dennis. Let me just see what this mission is again. Yes. I'll threaten to switch. After you. Switching to a man who will abandon their mission, Sheriff Winning Allies. No, don't want to do that just right now. Let's go and see if we can sort this mission out. I do like to complete the missions. I don't like the game to beat them in which way, shape, or form. That was loud. I'm just going to have to assume that. Uh, See what'll happen if we don't find more meds. I can't do it. That's a plague zombie, of course, and it makes me pick one of those. So I've got one on me anyway. Doesn't really matter. If I go out this gate, if I don't go out this gate, it'll just stay open. So I have to open the gate properly, and then it should close automatically. Right, I still don't know where I'm going. We've got a bloater. Over there. Oh, there he is. Put one in his head. This will help because he leaks rather than explodes. If he explodes, he'll bring loads of other zombies because it will make a real loud noise. But if he leaks, he'll just um, whittle away without drawing any attention to the base. And you're trying to really keep the noise down. <coughs> anyway, so pardon me for coughing. I'm going to switch over now and see if we can find where I need to be. Winning allies. And also, we have to go and get these, um, these, this ammo. I have another objective as well. I've got fuel and, and um, materials. I want to fill these other two slots. And then I also have a special mod to put in on the radio control tower, which gives me two more outposts. And I don't want to waste them. I've got, a, I've got the ability to have them. We've also got minus two beds, so we haven't got any other facilities. Um, I didn't want to waste any more money on this base. To take that down. And the base that I wanted... Oh, there's a guy, a big guy, coming up. So I might have to use these five shots on this bloke. There he comes. So you're now going to get an opportunity to see me fight this um, juggernaut. 
This is the um, heavy shot 50 cal. Missed. A juggernaut. Great. Hopefully, I can do it in four shots now. Down to the last magazine here. God, would you believe it? Do not make me kick your ass. That was not good. Well, that was different. The guys in the tower shot him, which is quite good. I was surprised, you know, when we had the um, zombies down here before, they didn't shoot them. You know. Hey out there, we're under attack, so get your ass here, now! You might be able to do this shot occasionally as well, if we can get one. A double headshot. Trust him to move. <laughs> hey, two for one. Always helps to try and get your your shots in. I mean, if the, if they're the long shots, you know, they, they can help you. Um, so I'm going to go there. Then I have to also clear out these two um, infection sites, Inf uh, infested sites. Sorry. Uh, now I also haven't got. My large nice weapon. Aim. I was thinking blows are there for some reason. A few too many just to fight. So rather than get rid of that one. Fight the infection, fight the infestation in total. I'm getting good at this. I gotta make sure it's dead. That's that. Just wait for him to recover. Um, not my uh, most. Suspicious okay, moment there. I was uh, see here. a little bit slow off the mark with killing that juggernaut. Not proud of that at all. Missing all them Looks shots. Like place to kill some <laughs> Usually I can get him in four shots dead on well, between the eyes. Empty. And he's done and dusted. He's down on one knee. You kill him in five, but you don't bother with five shots. You put four in him, you save yourself a bullet. As it was, I wasted eight bullets on one jug, which is not good. So where was this woman wanting? I managed your way. You're the best. I'll handle it. Now oh, she's gonna get ousted. Oh no! No way am I catching this blood plague bullshit. <laughs> I wish she'd just get in the front, then she wouldn't get dragged out. We are. There we are. Obviously, there's some noise going on up there. But we need to quickly get down to this gal here, and also our other stuff. So we might as well just make a beeline for that. 
I'm not sure if we can get up here just to cut the corner off. Yep. Nope. <laughs> that would take the... We have to get round the river. We can't go through the river in the vehicle. Of course. We could maybe go down the next road, but I don't know if it's up there. So, I don't want to cut the corner. I don't understand why their heads explode when I hit them on the knee. Because they've got lots of blood pressure. No wonder they're going down. I think this may be a play card, actually. God, I'm tired. Right, I think we're going to need that coffee, actually. And we're down to the last one. Yeah, well that's why I brought two. Nothing moving around here but the living. For me, I'm not really bothered about making a noise, as you probably tell. I got nothing. The only time I'm I'm conscious of or deliberately try not to bring any zombies in is when it does, it does actually... That's not good. My knife's getting broken. Already. There's a thing I've got, you know, a, a, a bit of a problem with this game. With the developers, really. Nowhere for that to go. Um... I can't even change out to hair, can I, like? So, I need the ammo, I want the ammo. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is... Change out my knife for the big thing, which is going to tie me out. Put the knife in the back. Go and get the gun. And probably while I'm out, one of my other standard um, not have to run carrying all this. things is to try and use the gun. <coughs> as much as I can. Get my shooting up. Whilst my shooting's needing bringing up, of course. Once it's not needing bringing up, I won't bother. I'll save the guns. <coughs> Using different, I think using different machinery is going to increase, I, I don't know for sure, I'm only assuming, um, but it seems like you'd get more experience from guns Back up's if here. you, what can I do to help? Great. if you used you rifles and handguns, like for instance, this will bring Look at the distance on that gun. So I managed to kill. Run or fight. Let's burn Run or these fight. Run or down. Fight. This is bad. Guys, it may be time to think about running. We just like. gotta keep this up a little longer. Hey, come on in. Time to reload. I mean, I did that. I brought one of my last magazine here. But I just used the back one. Get me a doctor, or I need a priest. So 
So that's that one done. And now I'm going back to tearing myself out. I think that's the fight over now. I would like to change to my other one to make sure she's okay, but she doesn't appear to be okay. I just want to search this place before I. Yeah, you're right. Screamer. This could get noisy. Can't get out there for some reason. So you always need a gun on you for those range targets where you need to do shit with that, uh, like that bloater. Because that gas is terrible, it will kill you. <coughs> don't understand why I can wave a steel blade through a window and not break. Um, ammo. Sure, why not? Take it. I need to stake a claim on this place. Pronto. Gail did dodge very well. I mean, I should have um, gone in this shed beforehand. Gotta watch the noise. No, you do. Just make a row. Who cares? Not much time before they get here. Where should I put this? I need those bullets. Whoa! Check this out. I'm okay. I mean, no really I need that. <sighs> Anyone mind if I call it a day? <laughs> she might sort that out. Oh. So, what I'm gonna do, I want the ammo. <laughs> I want the ammo case. So the only way I'm going to get that is make sure my gun's loaded. Um, probably. That choke um, we need the ammo as well, but There's another car. 
There isn't. Yes? If I take that, I can't put it down. Um. Reinforced lockable case that lets us keep our ammo organised. Install this mod to in case ammo storage. Increase ammo storage in case. So I've got the backpack on me because of course I had no other real choice. Wondering trader, I can't buy nothing from him but I suppose since He's got 28 minutes to go and I'm right near him. I could go and have a look what he's got then come back. Because I'd need to come back to collect them with the bullets. That was it, I got him. Some more points to be had. I think we can help each other out. I'm on board with that. Utilities. Nothing I really need. Perhaps maybe only this um, pallet. Craftsmanship. I mean, if this guy dies, he's there for 28 minutes. God, it's miles away. We have actually got something else we can do. to get this now. This is a 45 cal how power powered self defence useful at short to modern range. We could sell that. I'm looking to do some trading. Yeah. It's only gonna give us seventeen. Also, worse than I look. does need some repair, but get help. I'll sell that.
I'll just. I just dropped off a couple things I found while I was out. Yeah, okay, I'll have to buy that first. Later. What's that? Often you buy stuff and then find for. out. Find out that it's available. Let's haggle. Yeah. Quicker to go straight down there or quicker to go back to my base. Oh no, I'm going to go past one of my things anyway. So. If you can find shortcuts like that, you know. Road Racer MX, I wanted to just have a look at that. I think it's only the two seaters for this car. Yep, I saw it the other night. Meds are running low. Not that we had an abundance to begin with. Always a favourite of mine. Might as well put that back because I haven't got no um, thing to use it with. But no 45 cal now. Um, yep, yeah, I might as well pick up one more coffee. Take those two, even that, put that back in there, just drop them two off. We're just looking at the fuel. If you put the fuel where it's flashing white over a, a lighter area, sometimes you can see it if you've got it at night time over the moon or whatever, over some lights in the street or whatever, but um, or in your build in your base, should I say? See the little black line just after the white flashing line. That shows you that if you fill it up, it won't quite fill the tank, so you're not wasting fuel. That's why I was reluctant to put it in earlier, so we'll refuel the, the vehicle. And that will still only give us a max of about 95%, I would say. So we haven't over, we haven't wasted the, the fuel tin because it disappears. Of course, the fuel can goes, which I think is wrong. You should be able to keep the fuel cans with you and then refill them. And your problem might be actually finding fuel cans. Right, so let's follow the road round. Talent's priorities is restoring our country's infrastructure. Don't be alarmed if you spot our agents exploring the bridges or dams in your area. Red Talon. Well, I've got no beef with them. Although the game tries to make you have a beef with them. The other day it gave me one which said, uh, a mission said, uh, 
Oh, it was this argument that we're, we're actually going to now. It said, um, no, it was Red Talon, sorry, it, was, it wasn't this, it was at the bridge. It was just over the bridge, the, the mission's somewhere around here. Yeah, just after this bridge, there's a place here. And they basically said that um, they wanted you to say to the enclave, we don't like your prices and you're ripping people off. Right, now I'm the sheriff here. Just want to make sure. Death coming okay. in, all sides. Going to interrupt proceedings. Well, I talk to these clowns. It says, talk to Bran about the fugitive. Dennis disappeared right after killing. After the killing. Somebody's been killed. And I think it was this guy who was a member of them. If you bring him back for trial, we can offer supplies to help you destroy the plague hearts. Sounds like a deal. Cool, thanks. I'll point you in the likely direction of a fugitive. <coughs> so where is he? They think he went there. Go to the industry neighborhood for the fugitive Dennis. Handiwork. I'm going to go there next because it's on my way. But I also would have liked, or should have, taken... that base first, which is... Uh, to keep the area clear of infestations. I need the ferals. The points. Whoa, missed him. Oh, I didn't miss him. Some people say you shouldn't bother killing the said megaphone. This is definitely worth searching. Almost out of those. Getting late on now. I don't I want feel even now. Worse than I look. I better get help. It's 
to bring in any more zombies so I'm just going to search at the normal speed this time because we're both injured I've also got to go and sort that guy out with this guy because he's the only guy who can do it and I can't change from him to see how she is until I've sorted out his problem it's just made my day so yeah we'll have all that stuff all this. I wonder what that was Jug of pesticide. These chemicals keeps bugs from eating our herbs, which increases meds production when this mill is installed in the garden or farm. Okay then, because we need meds anyway, so we might go and install that back at our farm for a bit. After we've gone and got our guy. So the game did that deliberately, you know, testing me. See if we go there. Back down the road, cross the river, back up the road. And you don't actually get your distance in kilometers or sorry, meters until you do this. So we'll put our waypoint on. And we'll try and take a bit of a shot because I know the field is over this way. So this is where that other um, issue was, around here somewhere anyway, there was a, a mission that said... Uh, oh, Yeah, the mission was trying to get me to cause trouble with the Red Fallon, whatever it is, the Red Faction, they don't call themselves, Red Talon. Um, by having me disagree with them over the prices of the weapons. Now I only paid 600 for a 50 cal sniper rifle like the one you saw me kill the juggernaut with and those things were one and a half thousand quid some places when I was in my last map. I think the guy wanted, uh, I, I remember at least it being a thousand and I didn't have a thousand, they about 300 experience points on me. On my aunt's prepper plan, there's a string of numbers next to B or V. The numbers look like GPS coordinates. God, I'm sick of hearing about that mission. I might take care next as it relax from this guy. I've got to sort that one out. Yeah, I know, I left a plague heart, which I might need. Just so we've got the car with us. I could run up there and run back. But I prefer just to be right near it. Also, I've just spotted an opportunity. 11 points. And now I'm a bit annoyed with the game in the sense that I've, not, I've watched some other people play this game just to see, get a feel for how other people are playing it. And one of the most annoying things is I've seen that other people are getting more points for floaters than I am. Um, I don't understand why they're getting more points for everything basically, more points for... You know, it's not as though I'm not skilled at anything. I'm just as skilled in fact, I think my, my, my guys are very skilled at doing what they do. Let's 
Screamer here. Thought I was dead. You will be in a minute. I'll just get to uh... That'll bring him running. No way I can fit this. So you see how things balance out, sometimes you need to take a repair kit with you but the repair kit's just as much a tool as a gun is because you need to repair your vehicle and without it I would be stuffed and I'd be leaving all that stuff behind and having to come back with a repair kit anyway, wouldn't I? So, um, whether or not I want to um, carry this bag of stuff or not, will all depend on what's going to happen. Here. Don't need that. seen how many infestations there are around here? We gotta do something, and soon. Maybe. But this is where you die, perhaps. I know why you're here, Sheriff, but I can't go back without evidence that provides proves I didn't kill anyone. I'll help you track down this evidence. What are you looking for? Before this all happened, I stashed the gun they say I used. If we find that gun, it'll be obvious it wasn't the murder weapon. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Is anybody out there? I'm in serious trouble here. They're everywhere! This is also an infestation. So we can go down there maybe and sort two things out at once. Trust me, we'll find what we're looking for in here. I don't understand. I feel even worse than I look. I better get help. Uh, 
Uh, no. Come here, will you? You know it. Take care. So now I've got much too much. can drop is my two plague samples I suppose don't want any more zeds around I can still I can take that we need those screws there Important. I hope this isn't another bag of uh, fuel, but it probably, you know, you Jackpot. wish it would be. Yes, it is. So what do I do, you know? Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the plague samples down. I'm also going to put... Um, temporarily... The radio down. All stuff I'm really not bothered too much about. Take that, that, that in there. Go and get my ammo. I suppose we could risk um, filling up the van again. This is obviously night time now, so we look put it against something that's white and you'll see. You've still got a bit of black after it. So uh, the vehicles use too much fuel, I think. Toolkit. Um and we're in at the end of this was day ten, wasn't it? As well, so now we need to just go across the road for this guy. He's jumped in the back of them. Then we'll come back and pick up that stuff later. And this is gonna be a big fight because let's keep that screamer quiet. Oh, are you trying to kill me? Out my way, fool.
won't work. some sort of a bloater. Nothing to search while we're down here. Oh yeah, bloater down there. Every zombie in two miles must have heard that. Extra points. Right. I'll try the coffee. No. Nope. Means I'm going to have to drop something that I don't want to drop. Probably. I'm just gonna check that I can't. Where should I put this? Pick up um Let's haggle. Alright. Not that I've got any spaces, but Just the snacks, I'll have to put the snacks down I reckon. Just only it's only temporarily uh, I'm 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 sure but I, I don't know if the plague sample's gonna be worth more to me. I think this is what we're looking for. Oh cool. Boo Van Vincent for sure. Would you come with me to show it to Bram Bran and back me up? I might as well. See this awesome. to the end. Okay. So he's not asked me for the gun. No way I can fit this. Right, so can I change yes. to hair yet? Huh? Wait on. Zombies in that horde. I need to get rid of this plague shit or I'm fucked. I'm gonna treat my girl first and then. Well, 
That's the last of them. Ammo. Ammo. Food meds. Mm -hmm. We can put it all in, I think. Go inside. I wasn't sure I'd see you all again. You keep him busy? I need more personal space around here like yesterday. Yes? Hmm? Catch you later. I knew too much time with the damn zombies would make me sick. Just in case. Hey there. I'll try not to cough on you. Just hang in there. We'll get you through this. You like me. You really like me. Zombies and starvation weren't enough. Now we gotta worry about this damn disease? Right, what I'm going to do is, um, this was the end of uh, day 10, I think tomorrow's day 11. But I don't want to end it because of course I'm on this character where I'm trapped in his uh, mission. But I do want to end the um, the stream here. And we'll we'll wait till morning before we set off and we'll go and get his stuff again. So, um, I'll give you a few minutes in between the break and uh, see you in the next video. Please read the description look in uh, you know into any links that's in there and try and support the video and my channel any which way you can if you would please time for you to go straight to hell she seems to have backed up a little bit okay so i will see you in the next one it's been andreas please help